Raindrops. Raindrops in the window. Eight thirty. Look, you can see the clock now. Ali, the leaves are leaves are down mostly on that tree. Wow. On that branch. Time for prayers from the attic. Welcome, welcome to St. Paul's Church in Nantucket. Up we go to the attic. And look who we have with us now. Meatball came up tonight. Hi, Meatball. Meatball's with us. He's our faithful congregant. Hi Olive. there. Happy Tuesday night. Is it Tuesday? Good to be with you. Look at that blue hydrangea. Look at this. Still pretty blue out there. Look at these flowers from Flowers on Chestnut. We always give them a shout out because they do such beautiful work for our church. They They're really very do. Look fragrant. Pink roses and snapdragons. Red snapdragons. Um, lilies. Yep. Pink lilies and. Um, Look at the Pink daisies. Look at the beautiful what? color of the snapdragons. I know. The, we, this year we grew some snapdragons, like the really good hardy ones like this, those field field snapdragons. These are, um, uh, chrysanthemum, probably. Chrysanthemum? Yeah. Oh. Which I, I, want, I think they're related to daisies. They have I'm the sure same. look like pink daisies, yeah. Yeah, yeah. daisies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rogers. Oh, you see okay there? Yeah, there's the Rogers icon. Okay. Okay, we're good, Ollie. Look at the rain. A little rain on the street, Ollie. We need the rain, that's yep, for sure. Yep, nice. Evening rain is good. I know our friend Martin, like like Penny, is, um, she has beehives, and our friend Martin has hives, and he said he didn't, he had a tough year, Ollie. He didn't have as much, um, where are we? Right, facing the right Hi, direction. Lucy. Hi, Joseph. Aloha. Right, facing the right direction. Hi, Joseph. We tried to... calling from Maui. We tried to call last night, Joseph. I'm falling down on the rug. Uh, Baltimore. Hi, Linda. Is this the right angle? Looks hot. Sit back, guys. I can line it up with your head. Okay. Your head. Does that seem right now? I don't even know how to use this. I can realize it. Cool. I think that's mm -hmm. good, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. All right. All right, everybody. We're we're on. We're in. We're ready to rumble. Okay. Looks a little high, Allie. No, bring it closer. Bring it a little closer. Bring it a little. Bring it's it closer. It's gonna be over our heads. Just bring it. No, no. Bring it closer. Uh, closer. There right. we go. That's good. Okay, good. Oh, so I was saying that our friend, um, our friend Penny on the phone has hives, and Martin has some um, some hives for. You know, makes honey, and he he had a tough year until recently. It's, we had some rain finally. It was such a drought summer, the August, early September, no rain. We had no rain for like six weeks, and then the rain came and the bees got busy again, and now the honey's flowing. And so that's how I'd look to. We thought about putting a hive in the church memorial garden here. Uh, this we still might one of these days, and then. Um, We'll have to have Martin come over and take care of it, though, because I, <laughs> I wouldn't know what I'm doing. But it would be, it'd be fun to do. It'd yes, get, it would. Get one of those suits. That's All right. So I love honey. Let's get started. It's like 834. Yeah, I'll let your people on already. Well, let's get started. All right. Good to see you. Debbie, good to see you, too. Debbie Spears with us. Mm -hmm. All right, Ollie. I, okay, seem, I feel like I'm low. No, you're good. You're good. I can see your head. Who's leading tonight? You are. Mm -hmm. Page 127 of the prayer book. 127. Ali says I'm rambling about Let's bees. Go. Let's go. Lord Almighty, you get us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let's confess our sins to God. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our, our heavenly, heavenly Father, Father, we, we have, have sinned, sinned against you. you through our own, own fault, fault in thought and word and deed and what we have what left, left undone, undone for the sake of your Lord, Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Forgive, forgive us all our offenses and grant, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. The mighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 O oh God, make speed to save us. 
O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Okay, our psalm tonight is psalm number one. Oh. Psalm number one is assigned for today, Ali. It's on page 585 of your Book of Common Prayer, 585. If you're using your Bible at home, Psalm 1. Um, the translation might be slightly different. Um, and I'll pray up to the asterisk, and then people can join us with, the, uh, with Ali to pray the rest of the psalm. Page 585 of the prayer book. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked. Nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord. And they meditate on his law day and night. They're like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes. Nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. The Lord knows the way of the righteous. But the way of the wicked is doomed. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, and, and to, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Okay. All right. Well, now, Ollie, it's time for a reading. Bible reading, huh? Yes. Time for a little scripture. And uh, this, is, this is from... Uh, Randy, so good to have you with us. Mm -hmm. Just so this is from uh, a reading from the letter of James, chapter 1. Letter of James. Therefore, rid yourselves of all sordidness and rank growth of wickedness, and welcome with meekness the implanted word that has the power to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not merely hearers who deceive themselves. For if any are hearers of the word and not doers, they are like those who look at themselves in a mirror. For they look at themselves and on going away immediately forget what they were like. But those who look into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and persevere, being not hearers who forget, but doers who act, they will be blessed in their doing. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Letter of James. Good one, Ollie. Mm. Be doers of the word, not doers, just hearers. Yes. Doers. You gotta talk the talk, you gotta walk the walk. That's right, Ali. I like that expression. <laughs> Walk in the walk. Let me think. There's probably a few other catchy phrases that capture that reading. I'll come to you. Probably. Mm -hmm. We'll see if it comes to you, though. <laughs> <laughs> After a busy day. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this is a nice... you got to put your money where your mouth is. Okay. How about that? That works. Okay, <laughs> That's our stewardship pledge. Deep, That's deep, stewardship campaign, Ali. <laughs> deep theologian that I am. <laughs> you are you are a doer of the word, Ali. Put your money where your you mouth are a doer is. of the word. No one's gonna deny that. Not so sure. <laughs> no special ministry. I thought there's a message in the front of this one, Ali. Uh, what do you mean a message? I thought there's something written in this Bible, but oh it's in that book, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you gave me this Bible, did you? Um yeah. probably. It's certainly one out. So tonight we're celebrating in the, in the book of Lesser Feasts and Fasts. Andrew, so good seeing you too. 
we have a book, um, it's a funny name, Lesser Feasts and Fasts, and it's one of the prayer books that's, it's one of it, um, a supplemental book that we use to note different days of the, different feast days. It's something, a feast day assigned for um, almost every day of the year, but they're lesser feasts. You know, they're not the feasts that celebrate Mary, the mother of Jesus. They're not the feasts of, in the life of Jesus, like the Feast of the Transfiguration or right, Good Friday or Easter, those major feasts. There's, a, there's not a, only a handful of major feasts in, in our Episcopal tradition, which is um, Christmas, uh, Holy Week, right, Palm Sunday, Good Friday, Easter, all of Holy Week, and then Pentecost is a major feast day, and then um, All Saints Day is a major feast day. Those are the days that you would normally, only those days in our tradition you'd have baptisms even. Biggest day for baptism would be on Easter, the Easter Vigil on Holy Saturday. That, pe that, that people would prepare all year even to be baptized on that day. But this is one of the lesser feasts. But it's of William Tyndale, T-Y-N-D-A-L-E. And William Tyndale was born in around 1495, was martyred in um, 1536. And it was his life work to translate the Bible into English. And there had been some other translations for several centuries that um, people tried to translate the Bible from the Latin, which had been translated from the Hebrew and, and Greek. But, but Tyndale was one of the first to study Greek. That became into fashion in the early uh, 1500s um, because, because the original New Testament was written in Greek, not Latin. Uh, and some words of Aramaic, of course, that Jesus spoke. And in the, what we call the Old Testament, the Hebrew scripture was, of course, written in Hebrew. So he went to the original sources and translated it into English. And for that, he was killed um, because it was not, um, in those days, all of our liturgies, right, our worship, um, our, the Bible, the prayers were in Latin. And Latin was only understood by uh, lawyers, judges, and professors, mostly, and priests. And so it was very, it was, it was very you know, the mass population that were more peasants, really, they could barely read, certainly could not read Latin. I read, um, yeah, read Latin. And so, translated into English, and then in the Protestant Reformation, this was, it was so important, you know, again, that, that just like Martin Luther, he said the mass and the Bible should be in German, because that's what people spoke, not Latin. And um, he was persecuted for that, but started this Protestant Reformation. It was one of the early people in the Protestant Reformation. And then in England, they said, too, the Bible should be in English. People were burned at the stake for, for celebrating communion in English, for reading the Bible in English, for translating the Bible in English. So William Tyndale. And so I just, I just thought, again, the, book, the Bible that Ollie reads from every night is well-worn, tattered Bible, has my name on the front. I mean, my family gave me this Bible, Al. You gave me the Bible and prayer book combination, which is down there somewhere, which you said the binder's kind of broken too from, from using so much. Yes. And then I just have a couple of Bibles for show and tell quickly. You can't see them on the, on the um, phone, but I'll describe them. Penny, one is a, a Bible that was from my mother's family where... Um, Come that we only found out about 25 years ago. My mother's family were one of the original Nantucket families, the Hussey family, H U S S E Y. And I have the Bible that was her great grandmother's Bible. And her great grandmother would, and it has all kinds of interesting like prayer cards in it, you know, pictures of my um, great grandmother. That's a good, good picture, Ali. Who's this? That's my great grandmother and her family. Your great grandmother? She was the matriarch. Is she the, oh, look at She's this. the center one, yeah. And so, yeah, so um, she was orphaned at age four, had a sibling Aww. that was just born. Her parents and the, and the baby died. Great grandmother. Uh, and there were yeah. four children left. Um, she ended up being the matriarch of my mother's family. My mother remembers her well, handing her 25, 25 cents or something, which is worth a fortune when my mother was a child. But anyways, um, she would write in the margins of some of the pages, I'm trying to find one, the year that she read that oh, here, here, here. 
Who's that? Oh, yeah, good. Look at, I have um, President Kennedy's prayer card my mother has on here, too. Um, yeah, from back in the day, huh? 1963. Here, look, yeah, so here's one where she wrote in a margin, and it says, um, it was 1902. She liked this passage from the Acts of the Apostles. Hmm. Yeah, where Paul was, was arrested, was accused and arrested. Um, yeah, from the early 1900s. She would write in about 1923, 1920. And you can see sometimes on the same page, there'd be a few years later, she'd go back to that page. She would write the date, but not the passage. She'd write the date next to the, on the page where she was okay. focusing on that passage. She's of, got all kinds of day. pencil marks in here. Yeah, wow. so it's pretty sweet. And so anyways, that's show and tell. That we had a rebound, my mother did. And then one Bible that I love, this is a Bible that, um, when I went to be ordained a deacon uh, in 1996 in Providence, you know, the first step to becoming a priest in the Episcopal Church is being ordained a deacon. And so it's traditional that the bishop would hand you a Bible mm -hmm. when you were ordained. Mm -hmm. And so the bis Bishop Wolf came to me and said, I'm so embarrassed to say, but the Bible that, that we, what we ordered for you, and there were a couple of few other deacons, but the one that she had written for me, she realized after she wrote in it, the Bible was printed upside down, or it was covered upside down. I, I put it on my shelf like this, with the ribbon sticking up, sticking out of the top. It's upside down because the inside of the text is right side up. And so, anyway, so she handed. She said, "I'm, I'm embarrassed to say that the Bible is upside down." So it says, "Max Joseph Wolf, on the occasion of his, of his ordination to the diaconate." Geraldine Wolf, Bishop uh, Rhode Island, in the first year of her consecration, she was a, a new bishop, 50, 15 June, 96. And that's the feast of Evelyn Underhill, one of the great matriarchs of, of, the, of the church. And so, anyway, so she was so embarrassed, she was upside down. I said, no, no, that's fine. I'll, I'll, keep, I'll take this Bible that was covered upside down. Then when I was ordained a priest out in Tucson, she came out that, that very next winter, the 97, um, early that winter, and she said, you know, I, I'm supposed to give you a, a Bible again. And I said, I have a Bible already, the one you gave me that's upside down. And so this time she wrote, since you still have to get things right side up, this is once again presented to you, Max Joseph Wolf, on the occasion of your ordination to the sacred priesthood by Geraldine Wolf in the first year of my consecration, 16 February, 97. So yeah, so I'm still trying to get it right side up. I like that, that <laughs> message. But the, then the bishop that my my um, Bible, rather, that's most uh, worn out is this little pocket Bible that I, that I carried. It's a King James Version of the Bible. And I carried this for years as a salesman in my little briefcase, you know? And then it traveled with me. Every time I traveled, I'd bring it with me. And it's, this is a red letter Bible where all the words, this is only the New Testament in Psalms, but all the words that Jesus said are printed here in red. And so you, you have, maybe you have some of those Bibles at home where the, the words are in red. And so you can focus on those words as being very important to us as followers of Christ the, the, in the red letter Bible, the words that, that Jesus said. And so, yes, I love this little Bible. My mom gave this to me a while ago. It's kind of fallen apart. I don't think I'm recover it but I'll make sure you put it back where it was in my briefcase okay because you know when you change where things are big mistake you never find <laughs> it again. not me Ali. <laughs> I tell my older friends that who can never find their keys put <laughs> it in the same place every time don't reorganize okay, okay Ali, so that's that's I guess that's it we want to celebrate that we have access to the Bible when I was down in Delaware I um I passed a church in, on route one heading north, that it said that they were um, a full gospel church, full gospel. And I said, wait a minute, we're a full gospel church. We might focus on different aspects of the gospel, uh, a lot of, about God's love, and, the, and certainly on, you know, in the words of Jesus, which were not condemnation, but welcoming, radical inclusion, love, words of love. And so I said, we're full, we're full gospel church. I'm going to buy a box of Bibles and put it in every pew. You know, and, and again, in the medieval world, Ali, in the, 
uh, time of the Reformation, the 1500s, once the Bible was translated to English, they put a, a big Bible in each church and they chained it, chained it to the church. You can still see this in churches, in, in America too. You'll see a big Bible and then chain it so people wouldn't walk away with it. But then that you could come, because you couldn't afford your own Bible, you could go there and read mm -hmm. if, you, mm -hmm. if you were able to read mm -hmm. and study the Bible there at church. And so I was glad when we arrived at St. Paul's Church, Ali, that I see these Bibles in every pew. So that when we're sitting waiting, oh, yes. when we're able to gather, we're sitting waiting, we can look. Yeah, they were we can, already there. Yep. That, we can they, look at, the, they, we can they, look at, at our all, Bibles. At All Saints, you did not have that when you arrived, and you, and you put Bibles Because there. why? Because we're, we're a full gospel church. Yes. The gospel of Jesus, That's the gospel right. of love. That's gospel right. of love. Yeah? In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right, uh, time to sing. Okay, so I think we, this okay. is maybe a one-time repeat. But we, so it's hymn number 680, 680. And you know this one, it's, Oh God, our help in ages past. Love this, I've, I've sung this in several Ooh. memorial services. Um, but they're words of comfort, words of inspiration. The music is called St. Anne. It's from William Croft, 1678 to 1727. Yeah, it's based on, on the, uh, Psalm 90, parts of Psalm 90. <clears throat> what do you think, Ali? You know this one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, God, our help in ages past. Our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Under the shadow of thy throne, thy saints have dwelt secure. Sufficient is thine arm, O Lord, and our defense is sure. Before the hills in order stood, or earth received her frame, from everlasting thou art God, to endless years the same. A thousand ages in thy sight are like an evening gone. Short as the watch that ends the night before the rising sun. Time like an ever-rolling stream bears all our years away. They fly forgotten as a dream dies at the opening day. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Be thou our God while life shall last and our eternal Good job. All right, so we're getting back to the um, Book of Common Prayer. We are on page 132, halfway down the page. Okay, All right, next. I think I can find that. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. That's all. <laughs> Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, to protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, enlightened by your Holy Spirit, those who teach and those who learn, that rejoicing in the knowledge of your truth, they may worship you and serve you from generation to generation. We yet pray this through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is arranged with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. All right. Um, Whoa, getting my shaking things up. Uh, uh, shaking things prayers up. of the people. Prayers of intercession. Um, always let us know if there's someone we can oh, pray what? for. Send me an email or pop it up on here on the screen. That's the way to do it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, so tonight we pray for um, Gail's grandson, John, for his uh, recovery. We pray for Tom's son, Miles. We pray for our neighbors, Manning and Cynthia. Yes, doing well. Um, we pray for... Um, That's Kitty William. <laughs> One of my colleagues. Yeah. We pray for um, Father Dan. Yes. We pray for, um, let's see, Susan's nephew, Brian. And we pray for Deb recovering from eye surgery and for... Um, and also for Deb's eye surgery tomorrow for her other eye alley. Oh. We have two. Okay. She had cataract eyes? Mm, she had, um, what's the other one that you had? Cataract. Cataracts, okay. yeah. We pray for one of my um, priest colleagues. We pray for Peter, Susie, and Steve's son. Yeah. We pray for Ruth Sayre. Mm -hmm. She's doing well too. Good. Very good. Um, I pray for my sister Gail, uh, the number one child in my fam in my family, and um, the eldest. The eldest. The eldest. <laughs> and her husband Henry. We pray for their well being. They're visiting with us. We pray for. Um, Christine's sister Lorraine, give thanks for her recovery. We pray for Ted and his family. We pray for Melissa and Diane and Esther. We pray for the children of our community and children around the world. We pray for our bishop, Alan Gates, and his wife, Tricia, and for our suffragan so. bishop, Gail Harris. We pray for David and Beverly from Madiket and for Paul from Madiket. We pray for the staff and volunteers of Nantucket Cottage Hospital, especially Libby. Oh, Bambi too. Oh, Very we good. pray for Bambi as um surgery tomorrow. Yes, yeah, surgery. I don't know if Bambi's a he or a she, but surgery tomorrow. We pray for Sarah and we pray for um, John that he makes the right decision. We pray for um, the Fairwinds Counseling Center. We pray for our med flight and Coast Guard crews. We pray for the medical community and research scientists around the world, and especially Lucy's family serving in those communities. We pray for Peter's sister, Nancy. We pray for our dear Normand and Bimp. We pray for- I stood well so last week. That's great. We pray for Josie, Melissa, Ellie, and Claire. We pray for Noah McMillan. We pray for Holly. We pray for our sister congregation of St. John um, the Evangelist in Vertientes, Cuba. We pray for the work of St. Paul's Mission Committee here on Nantucket. We Great pray meeting today. We pray for the Mission Committee uh, excuse me, we pray for the work of the Community Foundation for Nantucket. Mm -hmm. 
We pray for our Nantucket friends. Excuse me. We pray for our Nantucket friends always. Um, we pray for um, Randy and Ned, and we pray for Brookie, um, Director of Assisted Living Center. Um, we pray for Pat and Janet and Rehoboth and Joseph. We pray especially. Aloha, Joseph. We pray especially for Blair. We pray for his wife Missy. We pray for Adam. We pray for Linda and her family and her friends. We pray for Les Slate on Block Island. We pray for um, Pastor Enoch Fuzz in Nashville. We pray for Julie and Mary and for Brandon's son, Jim. Brandon's dad, Jim. Why do I keep doing that? Brandon's dad, Jim. We pray for uh, those serving in the armed forces at home and abroad and their families and for Jeff serving our returning troops. We pray for those working to feed people, uh, that especially Justine and Megan down in Delaware and Maryland. We pray for our restaurant friends here on Nantucket, Mark at the Ships Inn, our lovely neighbor across the street. And Krishna. Gabriel at the Straight Wharf, Evan and Maria, Todd, Angela, Seth, Joe and Jordana, we pray for Mark and Etna, our catering crew. We pray for our musical friends, Peggy and Sherman. We pray for um, some more animal friends, Dottie and Esme, and my sisters, Kitty Polka Dot. And we pray, and Mozart, and we pray for justice and peace. Good one, Olive. Okay. Good one. All right. So we now continue on page 134 at the end of the page bottom of the page not the middle of the page bottom of the page okay let us pray together mm -hmm. bell is ringing Ollie mm -hmm. me and my gal mm -hmm. okay. Okay. guide us waking O oh Lord and guard us sleeping that, that awake, awake we may watch, watch with Christ, Christ. And asleep, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay, Ollie, what do we have tonight? All Something right. meditative, let's I see. think. Let's see if the technology works for me tonight. Uh, no, what's with that technology, Ollie? It's a lot of pairing going on here. Pair this and pair that. Okay, so wait a minute. It's peer pressure. Peering, peering pressure. Oh, yeah, technology makes okay, me nervous. Okay, is it on? Okay. That's up. Uh... Okay, so you're going to have to cut this. So, anonymous 4. What's the name of the tune? Do we know? Lule, Lule. As I lay on Eula's night. Medieval.
precious, huh? Precious. Okay, everybody. Joseph. Thank you. Thanks, Joseph. Love you, man. Love you. Call us if you're still awake. Call us up. And um, okay, everybody. If you didn't see, if you didn't see Joe Hammer's show last night, it's worth watching. It's fabulous. He didn't speak at all. He just showed the music score and played a few beautiful pieces. So Ali and I sat in the back of the chair, which is precious. So we'll see you tomorrow evening, okay? Bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Love you. Sweet dreams.